Hey there, Foundations. Today is Wednesday, March 18th. We're looking today um, at a couple of things. Um, I'm going to start out first with just a recap of yesterday. I'm looking at the assignments from the first two days um, with a few of y'all having that turned in, um, about a little less than half. Um, so make sure that you are make, getting your assignments in. If you're having difficulty with that, um, email me um, and we'll figure out um, ways to get around that, um, help you through this time that we have uh, going on. A couple of updates from the district. Um, if you watched last night, the school board met um, and Dr. Robbins updated on everything going on in the district and the what we're going to be doing these next at least two and a half weeks, uh, two weeks left at this point till the April 1st. Um, his thinking is that we'll be out at least through spring break. Um, if you've seen the news um, yesterday, you saw that um, Kansas, for example, has closed for the rest of the, the school year all the way to June. Um, other districts are closed out to mid-April. Um, I, I think... I think Dr. Robbins is right that we'll at least be out through our spring break, um, if not longer. Um, and he does go over some details of what to expect with that. Um, so again, this week is e-learning. Next week is you're off in terms of um, nothing new coming from your teachers. Um, so just be aware of that. Now, if you have things that you have not turned in, make sure you get those done. So like if you, um, again, have had technology issues or if you've had um, issues with um, just what work you're getting from your teachers, um, again, work through the process. Again, do what you can every day. Uh, again, every day is a new day. Um, keep doing what you're doing. So I've had just a few of y'all join in on Zoom class. I know the couple that have gotten in um, have gotten some great help that they need. Um, so just understand that I'm here. Um, even if you want to just stop in for two, three minutes and say, hey, I'm still alive. I'm still, you know, I'm still doing what I need to do. Um, I'd love to see your face. Um, and again, answering questions that you have as we go through this week. Um, Dr. Robbins was very candid in his um, message to the school board last night that we're not going to penalize students in this time. Um, the end of the quarter is kind of suspended. Um they're, they're still working through that at the district level. Um, but what he said in the board meeting last night was that the end of the quarter is not going to be Thursday. Um, he, he doesn't want to penalize students at this point. He doesn't want to start fourth quarter um, at this point if we're going to get back after spring break um, to regular operations. Um, obviously, if post spring break we're still out that changes the whole dynamic of what the end of the year looks like and, and those are discussions to be had as we cross those bridges it was kind of clear from listening to the different board members that um we're we're, we're in uncharted territories and we're taking it one day at a time um and we'll figure it out as we go um so again i'll do these videos every day i'll even next week um while i'm not going to be sending you assignments i'll still send you um some updates from the district as we get stuff again if there's nothing really other than hey i'm here you're still alive i'm still alive we're great um i might just end up a little 30 second thing saying hey we're still good um updates that maybe we need to have um as things progress next week again next week i think will be a big week in terms of announcements from the state department um as we get closer to that uh, march 31st deadline of potentially schools coming back in, um, they'll probably look at the situation and say, do we need to close further um, or can we start transitioning back? Again, it all depends on what's happening. And as Dr. Robbins said in the board meeting, we are um, we are the central focus of South Carolina and DHEC at the moment um, because we have the most cases in Kershaw County. Um, so, you know, what does that mean for us. Um, again, that's all dependent on the numbers of what's going on this week, next week. Um, our cases continuing to rise or our cases, um, you know, starting to, as we've been saying these this past week, flatten the curve, right? And, you know, are we actually flattening the curve through this process of, you know, businesses being curtailed and, you know, drive through only through restaurants or carry out service only, you know, you know, all those things that we're doing to try to help our health care systems um, get through this process. So, um, and, and Dr. Robbins, like I said, you know, I, I'm leaning on everything that he says, because that's 
the face of our district. And, and that's, you know, everything that he's put out public at a board meeting, you know, I'm sharing with you all because it's public information. And I would encourage you and your parents to also watch that board meeting so you get all the information that he put out. It's about a 30 minute video um, on the district um, YouTube page, and I'll share that in Google Classroom as well. So again, if you want to watch it and see what he said, um, he talks about the but um, the lunch is going out. So again, if you need food, um, they'll be doing the bus routes um, every day, kind of like a reverse bus route from the school with the lunches and and the following day's breakfast. Um, if you can't make it to one of the four schools that are serving lunch. And so again, in our area, it would be at Blaney Elementary. So if you're near Blaney, you can drive up. I think it's between 11 and 1 um, and get your lunch and between 7 and 9 for breakfast. Again, it's just pick up and go. Um, but on the bus routes, it'll be they're they're going to leave about 9:30 is what they said, and between about 9:30 and 10, run the bus routes um, out from the schools like an afternoon bus route, um, and there will be personnel on those buses to hand you that day's lunch and the next morning's breakfast. So again, and that's available to all students um, under the age of 18 um, or 18 and under. Excuse me. Um, so again, I would go to that email. Go to that. Um, link there. Um, it's kcsdschools.net slash coronavirus and it has all the information for our current shutdown situation. Um, so again, that's where we're at. I hope to see y'all sh shortly again. Use a Zoom meeting um, to come on in. Again, say hi. I mean, if you don't need help with tomorrow's assignment, just come say hi for two minutes and say you're doing well. I do want, I do want to know that you're doing well. If you're not doing well, let me know because um, I'd love to be thinking about y'all. Uh, praying for y'all. Um, so there's that. Um, again, stay safe. Stay away from people. Do what you're doing. Y'all have a good one.